Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It's a singular question. And, and Chairman Hughes, you and I have had this conversation. You know I represent, I have the honor and privilege of representing a city that is known as Military City USA. Yes. We discussed the fact that not only do students sometimes uh, will be they registered at their parents' home to vote, sometimes our men and women in uniform choose to choose a residence in the state they prefer to vote. And so earlier in your bill layout, you talked about uh, two, two questions that had to be brought up uh, for the person's information to be sent uh, either to Secretary of State or Attorney General in order to clean the role. And I have a concern that if a student, let's say, that is from San Antonio and chooses to be registered <coughs> at their parents' home, but now is going to school in Dallas, and they get caught up in a student voter registration, and they forget that they're registered at home because they did it when they got their license or whatever the question may be, will that student then be automatically taken off the rolls? No, Senator, that's a good question. The, the process we talked about is uh, when something like that shows up, it's flagged and the person is contacted. So no one is automatically knocked off. It begins a process to figure out what happened. So no one is automatically knocked off based on that event. Okay, thank you very much. Well, good question, thank you. All right.